Well, hello everybody. It's Paul. Welcome to my desktop. This is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use Markdown for positioning images to the right or to the left. And I'm just going to show you how I typically do a post. Now, number one, you have to start by having properly sized images. Now, typically, I start my post with a full-size image. Now I scale that down from the large image that comes out of the camera to, I use a width of 1280 and that just lets the page load quicker. So I've got some here today and I'm just going to show you like I was doing a post. So let's start off with a, a 1280 when we drop it in there. We'll fill the page nice but it'll still allow it to load quickly okay so that looks good that might be my starting image say and then I should st start off by saying I'm not a coder at all I didn't know any of this I couldn't find anything on it so I had to go out on the internet and kinda learn it and um, so what I like to do is make a lot of spaces to keep things uh, apart and and kind of keep it clean in my mind and then to force a space what I do is less than br greater than okay and that will force a space so okay now we got our big image in there now what I use for images I want to go on the left and the right I use 400 width 300 height so um Let's just uh, take this, here's a rose, and we'll drop that in there. Okay, and you'll see, you can, I scroll down and see what it is. Now it, it defaults by putting it over to the left. But we've got some nice space here, that's where we put our BR to make a space between the images. So that's looking fine. Now we just have to clean this up. And for the command that we're going to use, we don't want anything in front of the address. So we're going to take all that stuff out and we're going to have it just where it's the HTTPS. Okay, so this is our command. We use our less than and then it's div space class equals quote now here's the big decision it's already at the left so let's pull it to the right for the first one pull minus sign right quote greater than sign okay then then you have your image and I should say we want to take out the the last little parenthesis. So we want it to start with the HTTPS. We want it to end with the JPG. Okay, take out that last um, parenthesis there. And then we are going to last in again. Shift DIV greater than. Okay. And we have our first image. We have our second image pulled to the right. So then what we can do, um, what I do is usually I'll throw in a couple of these. And like I say, there's a probably a proper way to do this if you're a coder, which I'm not. But um, this seems to get the job done. And then I'll say something like, um, this is a rose. And then you just scroll down to see if that's about where you want it. And it looks good there. This is a rose. You know, so I might have um, over here three or four lines of text. It would go all the way over. And it looks real good. It won't go into the... Um, it won't go into the picture. Um, I'm a slow typer, so I'll just do this just so you can see it. 
and it does something like that, which is pretty cool, right? All right, so we'll leave that. Now we'll put one over to the left. So to do that, let's do, um, we'll need a couple BRs. Something like that. And then we need to drop our image in. So what else are we going to use here? another one and I usually start them when I resize it I rename it 400 so then I know that it's going to be a 400 sized image it makes it easy so I'll drop the Sun there now you'll see it defaults to the left which is great and all but if you want to do your text or to the right you're still going to have to clean this up so let's do that remember we wanted to start with the HTTP so all this in front of it has to go good and then come and get the last parenthesis there off now we're going to use the same command pretty much oh. start with our less than space class equals parentheses pull minus sign left parentheses greater than okay now let's jump down here I know I'm the world's slowest typer and let's see how that's going to look it should still be on the left and it is and let's put you see here like it looks better to me if I have some space there um, so let's just do that let's give it one more here see if that did it yep it just breaks it up looks a little cleaner to me so then we can go ahead Okay, let's do one more maybe. And say, um, what are we going to say here? Say, this is a pretty good looking sunset. Oh, okay, I see what you see it's it's putting it should be putting it over to the right. That's because we have an ear right here. Um this is supposed to be equals, not a minus. So if you get one little thing wrong it all screw it up. Now let's see what we got. There we go, that looks better. So that wasn't intentional, but they'll just show you if you have one thing it'll throw it off um, but you just have to go back and look at it like say I'm not a pro at it at all and uh, make sure your thing looks exactly like this and if you have like if you miss anything like even like you missed closing it in those less than and things it'll show you something's not right so you just have to sort it out take your time go back and get it so that basically in a nutshell is how you can put things 
left and right in here of text that looks good. Uh, let's see. I can throw in some more random text and you'll see how it goes. Okay. So there you are. I think that looks pretty cool. And then, like, I may do a couple more pictures and then close it with, like, another big one. And uh, that's how I do it. Pretty easy, pretty fun to do. Um, feel free to ask any questions. I probably won't know the answer to anything more complicated, but maybe I can uh, figure it out. So thanks for watching. We'll see you.